no trouble at all. We've got a couple more buildings to check, and then we can try the temple, and then we'll head out looking for that caravan. I know this isn't too exciting, but this has to be, uh, this needs to be done. Okay. We got a locked door, yes. so we're going to have Sheila use her thieving skills. Understood. Let's get us in there. I will assist you in it. I can do it. I got it. Oh, so. Okay, this must be the wolf that the townsfolk have been talking about. I don't know how you got in here. This door was locked. Yes. I'm not going to change weapons for him. <laughs> And yeah, I forgot to give Eric his sword. What should I do? At your service. Attack. Ready? Go. Nice. Took him down quick. Gained some experience. This glass cabinet contains several finished pieces of beautiful, beautifully carved and polished scrimshaw. Nice. The bones of these knucklehead trout have spilled out of their overturned barrel onto the floor. Several of the bones appear to have been gnawed upon. This wolf's been chewing on their their trout. This wooden workbench is cluttered with tools and scrimshaw shavings. Rows of knucklehead trout bones have been neatly arranged upon these shelves. Uh, numerous, a number of s scrimshaw carvings are arrayed about this table. Each of them appear to be in, hey, various stages of completion. Something you need done. Very good. So let's go. Surely. I don't mind. I think we got enough time to check a few more things before we got to go. And then I'll head into the temple. Oh, here's somebody. Sing, it looks like that guy singing. Jehoan. <laughs> oh, sorry, friend. I didn't see you standing there. Name's Jehoan. Something I can do for you? Are you alright? You seem preoccupied. No, no, I'm fine. Just taking in the view of the lake for a bit. Trying to shake these dreams out of my head. The lake's beautiful, isn't it? Dreams? Usually those fade upon waking, friend. Mayhap a day's worth of fishing will chase them away. Ah, well, the dreams have been fishing in me of late, friend. So much so I can barely catch a wink before they rouse me from it. A frustration it is at times. Sometimes it seems like they're more real than the waking world. What kind of dreams? Well, there's a woman, and don't give me that eye. I, I know... It's not like you. Th it's not like you think. She walks upon the surface of the lake as if it were flagstones instead of waves. She doesn't say anything; just sings beautiful songs. But I can't understand a word. That doesn't sound good. Well, if dreams are your only worry, Jehoan, your life can't be too bad. Dreams should be a comfort, not a curse. If truth be told, friend, I. The, damn it! There's no sense to it. These dreams are eating at me like a starving wolf. I can barely hold a daily thought in my head before the memory of the dreams hound its way back in there. I, by the hells, I don't know how much more of this I can take. If I can find some way to help you, Jehoan, I will. Don't know how I can, but I'll see what I can find out. Huh? You're not playing on a man's hopes, are you? I'd be grateful for just... One night of peace. I'll see what I can do. If I think of anything, I will return. So it sounds like a... It could be a, like a dryad or something. Have I been in here?
Sometimes they get stuck in the doorway like that. It's really weird. Oh, here, here's old Jed. The small steel cage contains what appears to be a small, free rodent of some sort. The creature is not moving. Either it's quite soundly sleeping or it's quite dead. Okay, this is old Jed. Let's see what he's up to. I don't mind. Hey there, matey. How are you? Doing it, it. Uh, Whew. been hitting the sauce lately, old man. Well, there's no need to be mean about it. It's a real problem for me, you see. I need me fish wine. I need my me wine to fish. It's a matter of life and death, matey. <laughs> well, is there anything I could do to support your downward spiral into oblivion? Too bad, old man. You're a withered husk of a man, and it's no one's fault but your own. <laughs> you could go to Pomobs and fetch me some wine. Then I could get me to fishing. I would be grateful for it. I'd go get it my, myself, but two summers past, I got so mad at that pompous Pomob that I threw his sorry behind in a lake dinner. <laughs> Just how grateful are you going to be? Well, uh, I can give you a bit of gold, and if you can be a member, and you can be a member of the Eternal Brotherhood of Fishermen. Why would I want to be an old drunk guy? <laughs> In that case, I'll do it. Alright, thanks, matey. He can find Pomab store in the northeast corner of town. Great. I'll be back. Presently. So we're going to get this guy some uh, booze, because he, he can't uh, fish unless he's drunk. So we want to help him out. Let's head up and get him a... There we go. Let's go get him some drinks real quick. Probably almost out of time, but I've probably got enough time just to get him some alcohol. It will be done. You again? Why must you continuously pester me? I have much to do and little time to trifle with the likes of you. He's so polite. He should have some alcohol here for me. Here we go. Bottle of wine. Take that. Let's go. It will be done. See if we can get back down there before the video ends. Very. Ah, you have a bottle of wine for me. Mady, I am indeed grateful. Don't drink it all in one place, buddy. Farewell. Okay. We got six gold for that. And it cost three, so I, th I don't think we made too much of a profit. Did we get experience? Okay, we got experience. That's, that's, May I help? that's good. I, did. I can do it. Alright, guys, so it looks like it's time for me to go. But, um. Looks like we've searched this whole area. And that looks like the way that we need to go for the caravan. So I'm going to come back and we're going to look in the temple and we're going to head out and find that caravan. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Later.